In a previous video, we saw a listing requested by the travel agency showing all the categories of tourist attractions, and for each category, the list of attractions recorded. As we can see, this listing shows all the categories entered, including those with no attractions in this category. However, we might need to show, instead of each category entered, only the categories with at least one attraction. So it's clear that, to solve this, we can't obtain the categories from the category table because all categories will be entered there, regardless of whether they have attractions or not. We will have to go over the attraction table, and for each attraction extract the corresponding category. By doing this, we will only obtain categories that belong to an attraction. To solve this in Genexus, we select the report called Categories Attractions Report and save it under the name Only Categories with Attractions Report. If we analyze the for each as we had implemented, we will see that the base table of the external for each is category, and the base table of the nested for each is attraction. To verify this, let's take a look at the report navigation listing. We can see that, in fact, the base table of the external for each is category, and the table of the nested for each is attraction. As we saw before, this implementation shows each category entered, regardless of whether it has attractions or not, and for each category, it shows its attractions. To make the external for each also go over the attractions, we delete the reference to base transaction category, and instead we write attraction. This will make both for each's go over the attraction table. Let's take a look at the navigation listing to verify. And the two for each's go over attraction. And we can see that Genexus adds the word break in the nested level to indicate that both for each's are going over the same table. Now let's execute the listing to see what we get. Hmm, so this isn't exactly what we expected. Even when we only view the categories with attractions now, since we're going over the records of attractions, one line is shown per attraction instead of showing the information grouped by category as in the original listing. For all attractions in the same category to be listed together, we should sort the listing by category. In order to obtain something like this, where data for the same category is grouped together. To achieve this, we must add the corresponding order clause to the external for each. If we verify the navigation listing again, we will see that the report is now sorted by category ID. And this will enable all the tractions of a single category to appear grouped. We execute the listing again. And we also see that, apart from preventing the appearance of categories with no attractions, Genexus grouped the attractions that belong to the same category and deployed the name of the category and its corresponding attractions. This type of listing, known as control break, is very common in business applications. We should recall now what we did to implement this. Nested for eaches, the same base table for all for eaches, and the order clause to establish the breaking criteria. We have seen how easy it is to produce reports with Genexus. Further ahead, we will see other mechanisms to make queries to the database and obtain data in a flexible and appealing way. To end, we update changes in GX Server.